Being a one-make series, all the cars are made by Ferrari. To, to race this car is, is an exhilarating feeling. It's all about you and how you feel confident with the speed. So the fun about this championship is it's a 100% identical car. It's all down to driver driving. He's, he's getting unexpected results, and this year is his first complete racing season. Nine podiums this year out of ten good races. That's great. The three of them are probably wiped out of this race. 30 seconds to start. 30 seconds to start. Lights are out, and we're racing. Garnier holds that second position. Prenov is on the curb. Try and prevent himself falling prey to the hard charging Gatan Singhania, who's in P4. Absolutely side by side between Singhania and Eric Prenot. Bravo, bravo. But this man has really impressed a lot of people. Gautam Singhania, second place, and he is delighted with that. So now Gautam Singhania has locked in a big, fierce battle with the two of them. Round one, Monza. And they're in uh, car number 180, Gautam Singhania. And the race is on. 35 minutes of hot rocket Ferrari challenge. Copa Shell racing to come. Singhania in the orange fronted car. Gap between uh, Loflad and Singhania there is coming down. Thomas Loflad is getting a drive through penalty for a jump start. So P3 will be inherited by Gautam Singhania. Jack Driver win. Gautam Singhania takes P3. Just take all the hard work right there. Welcome back to Monza. It's race two of the weekend. And we go green and racing. As the car goes very sideways there, I think that may have been Eric Chung, and that's a multiple spin. Brought about by contact. And from on board, can see that unfolding, and I'm sure that's Eric Chung. Then it's Gautam Singhania, Rick Lovett, and Jack Diver very, very close together there. We'll see Gautam Singhania, who's out on his own, really, in P3. Then it is that battle that we were with, but Eric Prinod takes the win, and Gautam Singhania takes P3. Two podiums, which feels absolutely fantastic. Mugello, round two. A very good afternoon and welcome to the Mugello circuit here for the second round. Mugello is a very difficult circuit because you have a lot of uh, up and down turns. Bonfire! We go green and racing. Race three. The man trying to make a move, so too is uh, Gautam Singhania. And sideways goes Gautam Singhania. Singhania rejoins. This is the battle for P9 between uh, Peter Gurk, Krita and Lendodis, and uh, Gautam Singhania. Gunfire. Complete wobble there, and out goes Gautam Singhania. And... Sad to see uh, Gautam retire. More than another day, it's a racing incident, it's a racing. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Race number two, he's qualified 10th on the grid. We're not far away from the start of race two. Bonfire! And racing, let's go! And Thomas Gosler taking a look up the inside of Christian Kinch. Singhania up the inside of Tommy Lindro, but Tommy will try and come back on the undercut. Singhania driving really, really well now. I think there was just a little bit of a touch there from Fons onto uh, Tani Hanna. Be careful, the two guys in front of you, they are hitting each other, so be careful. And Fons, they touch, they touch two, three, four times. Fire. Oh, they take out Gautam Singhania. That is an absolute disaster. Safety car is out. Gautam Singhania's car looks to be extremely damaged. So the uh, safety car allows the cars to uh, take the checkered flag to end the race. We'll be coming back to Budapest much better. Round three, Budapest. Oh, 
to be here at the Hungara Ring supporting the Ferrari Challenge Trofeo Pirelli. Come down to the Kessel Racing Squad and obviously Jacques Hiver and Gautam Singania. They go out now and we're racing at the Hungara Ring. Gautam Singania has really stepped up his game this weekend. Second overall in the championship. Jacques Hiver and Gautam Singania, they've both got very different lines as they come out of turn three. Interesting as they make their way up the hill towards turn four. Big slide from Singania, but that is the save of the day from the Indian. And a second place for Gautam Singania. He is delighted, as is the Kessel Racing team. He is so emotional down there. But this man has really impressed a lot of people. Gautam Singhania, second place, and he is delighted with that. And that sets things up very neatly for the second race. We are going to start seventh position, but the main problem at the moment is uh, the possibility of rain. He's on what? Who is that? Skelta, uh, I think. He's uh, on the dry. Dry, eh? Yes, and the other two I don't know. Okay, we go try. Lights are out and we're racing. Lanik is leading it. Adam Singania shuts the door beautifully on Tommy Lindroff. Singania is one of the fastest drivers in these conditions. He's just done a 2072. Singania, the Indian, is really working hard. Thank you very much for the window of opportunity, says Gautam. I'm going to take this position and I'm going to run away from you. And this is Gautam Singania finally getting the move on Grumman, I believe. He's driving brilliantly out there. Here comes Torflad. Oh, Leflad's going to overshoot. Gautam Singani can get it back on the inside. No, he has got the grip. So Leflad is through into third position. Vladimir Lanik has won. There he is, Gautam Singania in fourth position. That was such a difficult race. So. Tim, second and fourth on this weekend. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> but I wish you'd have to third two podiums. <laughs> does, does. Round four, Paul Ricard. Good afternoon and welcome to the Paul Ricard circuit. We have been blessed with glorious weather here for the Ferrari Challenge. Go squirrels, rabbit horse. The lights go green, let's go racing. Absolutely side by side between Shinghani and Eric Prinot. A glow yellow car which leads this race with Jack Diver P2. Gautam Singhani is P3. As he dives up the inside, there's contact between the two of them. If it wasn't really an overtaking place for Von Skeltemar. Go squirrels, rabbit horse. We're on the final lap. Jack Diver wins. P3 should go the way of Gautam Singhani up. Indeed it does. My man finished third, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to the next one. Good afternoon and welcome to the Paul Ricard circuit for the second race in the Copa Shell category of Ferrari Challenge. Go squirrels, rabbit horse. Jack Diver almost alongside uh, Gautam Singhania, but not quite as uh, we get the green for go. Just look how much closer now Jack Diver is to Gautam Singhania. So Gautam Singhania seems to be really struggling for back end grip. Jack Diver is all over the Gautam Singhania car. You are fastest at the moment on the track. Oh, Singhania gets really, really sideways there. Can Gautam Singhania make that 458 twice its width to try and prevent Jack Diver coming through? I think it's going to be a big ask. Singhania crosses the speed trap at 248 kilometers per hour. They stay the same as they cross the line. It's P2 and P3. What a weekend. I mean, double podium again after Monza. Outstanding duty. Yeah, I moved up so for better. Move from fourth to third in the championship, which is great. Imola, round five. It's a difficult track to overtake. So we need to get a good start and uh, hope for the best on the first corner and then take it from there. And we go away and racing. Look like a really, really good start from Jacques Diver. It's uh, Eric Prinot from Gautam Singhania. Then it's Rick Lovett. Then it's Jacques Diver. Oh, Rick Lovett. As around goes von Skeltemar. That is uh, P2, which is Gautam Singhania. P3 in the uh, championship. Okay, okay, good. Keep going. Here comes Gautam Singhania with the back panel nearly completely off the car now. He takes P2. Three great guys up there on the uh, podium there, enjoying that uh, podium moment. Look at this, Andrea. I did the whole race like this. 
So did that make it a lot more difficult also? Of course, because I, <laughs> I thought I had broken something at the back. You were with a handicap basically. You were like yeah, but I was pushing. Andre kept saying, push, push, push. <laughs> so he pushed. The rolling lap will throw the lights to the top of the screen so that you can see the entire start sequence as the cars make their way past our commentary position here. Singhania into the chicane first of all, and he'll be squeezed out. Will that allow von Skeldmar? No, it won't. Now time Singhania lead. He's going very, very well. Now time Singhania with just under four tenths ahead of Eric Prinot, one and P2 in. Oh, and someone went piling off there. Now time Singhania now pulls out another few tenths over Eric Prinot the measure of this at the moment, it's a 1.209. But not now as Eric Prinot is trying to find a way past it. Gautam Singhania, he takes to the grass. There's a bit of nerfing between the two of them. He did get past Gautam Singhania. He went off track, came back, bumped him and then overtook him. Eric Prinot now takes over that lead from Gautam Singhania. Incredible fight back from Gautam Singhania, then successful weekend it's been for Eric Prinot. Gautam Singhania takes a uh, supreme P2. I led the race, just made a fraction of an error. I was doing very well, but you know, it happens. I think, I think double podium again, so it's good. Round six, Valencia. Hello, a very good afternoon to you and welcome to the Valencia circuit. We go racing, good start from Jack Diver then, who's been quick, but right on the back of Jack Diver is Gautam Singhania. Singhania running at P3, Eric Prinot is the man that's on the move though. And Let's see, keep going. So Singhania increases his margin over Von Skeltemar now, and there remains a uh, two second gap between the two of them. Two more laps. Jack Diver heads for success in Valencia by taking the chequered flag and B2 is going to be for Gautam Singhania. Jack was too fast today, but yeah, it was a good race. Happy to say P2 today. Eight podiums and all so far. Good afternoon and welcome to the Valencia circuit. It's the Copa Shell race number two. It's going to be a mad dash down to turn one, and uh, Eric Prinot just gets his nose in front of Von Skeltemar. So Eric Prinot leading from Von Skeltemar, then is Jack Diver, who is a P3. Eric Chung is going to come under some pressure from Gautam Singhania. Gautam Singhania is now right in this mix as well. We're all Kessel drivers together here. If there's any question that both Diver and Singhania have got superior pace, Keep pushing, keep pushing. Continue and carry the uh, speed through. He's opening himself up to a challenge from Gautam Singhania also, and this is the real problem. Well, now Gautam Singhania is going to have a go as well. So now Gautam Singhania is locked in a big, fierce battle with the two of them. So Skeltemar and uh, Singhania yields. A crazy battle for second, third, fourth between Jack, Skeltemar and Gautam. Gautam driving like a beast. He's literally driving like his ball down in his hands. And it's a disaster for our race leader, Eric Prinot has got a problem and he's out. Singhania again tries to get up the inside of Von Skeltemar. This time they do touch and uh, Singhania is going to go through. Skeltemar will try and fight back, but Gautam Singhania goes through into P2 now. Bravo, bravo. There was a gap there, and uh, therefore Singhani was gonna, always going to try and 458 into that gap. Your race winner is Jack Diver. P2 goes the way of Gautam Singhani. Good podium, G. Good podium. Good podium. What a battle. I think this has been the toughest battle I've ever seen. What a race by G. I mean, fantastic. Nine podiums this year out of ten good races. I think we moved up to second. Gautam had a fantastic season. It was an amazing season, and uh, if we consider him a rookie in his class, the Copa Shell class, is definitely uh, the best first season of a uh, Copa Shell Challenge drivers uh, we had so far, according to the number of results and the podium he got. The excitement will rise as well as the lights go from red to green. 
Indeed we do, as they're up to the timing line. Gautam Singhania has converted that pole position into P1 and will deny Jack Diver. Singhania with a perfect start, and Eric Prinot has got ahead of Diver. Race leader goes through. Couple or three tenths between the two of them. Through the chicane they go. He's trying to harry, he's trying to stress, he's trying to worry Gautam Singhania ahead of him. Singhania will advantage himself, and of course, what's crucial as well is the fastest lap. But look at this, Eric Prinot really is right on the uh, back bumper of uh, Gautam Singhania, and he's not allowing the Indian racer to get away here. Oh, and I just knew there was going to be contact between the two of them. And Prinot, again, is really, really pushing Gautam Singhania. Singhania is not for being beaten here at the moment. Crucial to point out that not only do we have the European drivers in here, of which uh, this man, Gautam Singhania, is leading. Eric Prinot then with the remainder of this lap and six tenths to make up over Gautam Singhania. He's not been able to do it throughout the course of the race and therefore I think it's unlikely that he's going to find an overtake here. I think it's also unlikely that Gautam will make a mistake. He certainly hasn't done all race long. So one more turn for Gautam Singhania who will head now to take the chequered flag. Singhania wins from Prinot, P2. I'll be very candid with you. I never realized and imagined that Gautam will be doing so well. Now, when I came here, I realized that Gautam is doing so wonderfully well that people can't even think of back home. He is very focused, very disciplined. He's so careful about his food. He goes up to sleep by nine, gets up at six in the morning. National anthem for Gautam Singhania. Tam Singhania takes P1. Welcome back to Mugello in the sunshine as the finale mondiale of the Ferrari Challenge continues its race two. As the lights will go from red to green now. 30 seconds of racing to come. Jack Diver to the outside then. Rick Lovett to the outside on the other side of the track. Rick Lovett then. Quite a tight turn. This whole track is very technical. And Gautam Singhania having already moved up a place from P13 to P12. It's Von Skeltemar and Gautam Singhania, the uh, race winner from yesterday. Rick Lovett then for Kessel Racing. And Gautam Singhania right behind Von Skeltemar now. Whilst they are, they are fighting. Gautam Singhania is now behind Eric Prinot. This our race leader then, Gregory Romanelli. He knows this Mugello circuit inside out and that track knowledge has paid dividends. The 238 car take a win here at Mugello in the finale Mondiali week. Well, Gotham has done a brilliant job. You know, it's very difficult to actually come in and adapt to different circuits uh, through the year. It's very easy for obviously the other, uh, you know, competitors around him because they're all pretty much locals and they know the circuits quite well. So coming from India, it's always a tough, uh, you know, uh, platform for, uh, for Gotham to adapt to the circuits. Gautam Singhania representing India, of course, and uh, what a successful season he's had. Jack Diver and Gautam Singhania. Thomas Lofland looking for a way. Eric Prinot as well. And Gautam Singhania with a poor start there. He could lose out to Rick Lovett. It's really tight battle between the second and fourth places, and now there's a big contact. And
and takes uh, the top three of, out. Very nearly a two-second gap over Gautam Singhani. Oh, that was a ridiculous move, wasn't it? Well, it's possible as Gautam Singhani dives into the pit lane to take his uh, drive-through penalty. Singhani is gaining places because of this accident. He's, da he's back to P5. Very, very creditable P4 because he got past Creton Lendudis in the final lap. Oh.